Hey everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, let's talk about currency pipe. The currency pipe converts the number to a currency string. Let's say we want to display the amount received from YouTube by our channel. I'll add another property to the channel object in app component ds. Let's say amount with value 1000. Let's display this amount in the UI. So channel dot amount would give us the amount. In the UI, we see 1000 displayed. I want to display the currency symbol as well. Let me add currency pipe here. Save it. Go back to UI. We see $1000 displayed. By default, the currency symbol would be of American dollar USD. If I want to display the INR, uh, Indian rupee symbol, I can say colon. INR. Now we see rupees 1000. Uh, in case you want to display a Canadian dollar, you can specify CAD. We see CA dollar symbol. If you want to display just the code and not the symbol, you can do so by adding colon code. So this way, you wouldn't see any symbol here. It's just CAD 1000. If it's INR, it would be INR 1000. And the default one, which was USD, it's USD 1000. If you want to display the symbol, you can either remove this code or replace it with symbol. By default, it's the symbol. You don't have to specify this. But if you want to, you can simply uh, put symbol in uh, single quotes or double quotes. Let's say we have the decimal 1000, 1, 2, 3, something like that. If you go to the UI, we see only two digits displayed after the decimal point because by default, only two digits are allowed after the decimal point. We can specify the digits info to display the number of digits before and after the decimal point. So the syntax for that is first we'll specify the minimum number of digits that you want to display before the decimal point followed by the decimal point then we'll specify the range of digits that we want to specify after the decimal point. For example, if I want to allow a minimum of two digits before the decimal point and a minimum of one and a maximum of four digits after the decimal point, I can do so by adding a colon here in single or double quotes. I'll say uh, if I want uh, two digits before the decimal point, minimum of two digits followed by a minimum of one to a maximum of three digits after the decimal point, we can say 2.1-3. Now, if you go to the UI, we see three digits here. What if I have more than three digits? Let's say one, two, three, four, five. Only three digits would be allowed because our maximum value in this range is three. And let's say uh, we have four digits here and uh, my minimum number of digits before the decimal point is five, then it would add a extra zero here so that the total number of digits before the decimal point would become five. Make sure before you specify this range, uh, you added a symbol or a code here so that uh, this would be applied. Otherwise, uh, let me just remove this and uh, show you what happens if we don't do that. It would be considered as text. Instead of range, it would be considered as text. So make sure you provide either symbol or code. If it's code, it's just the code in place of symbol. There wouldn't be any change in the logic of this range. So this is all about currency pipe in Angular. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.